Hello everybody, uh, this is my DVD wall of shame. Um, this is one of the tables uh, and I'll show you the second table now. So this is lot two. And then, um, so, so this is what I've got to contend with. So this and the other one over there. Just to give you some idea of the mount, there is 587 DVDs, box sets, games inside this box alone. That's not including what's inside here as well. Um, so I've got a lot, a lot of work sort of kit out. Let's say this is the entire collection, the entire house. So this is a mixture of mine, my wife's, and my children's games and DVDs bunged onto these tables, and also all the stuff I've been collecting over the last year of um, buying from eBay you know, or buying from all over the place. I've been selling little bits at a time, but I've been trying to get decent sets. And as you see, there's nothing really decent sort of sets really made up. There probably will be now because. I found some of this inside the shed, inside the cupboard, inside my storage things, upstairs in the bedrooms, inside the kids' rooms, in boxes. You name it, I found them all over the place. So let's give you some idea what we've got. So this stack here, this is just PC-related games and software. Uh, this is Blu-rays and HD sort of stuff here. This is my Wii stuff, Xbox original. Behind this is, um, I don't know if you can see it, is Xbox One. There's a stack about that high on Xbox One. Xbox 360, PS2, PS3, GameCube, Wii U, this sort of stuff on here. This four stacks here is just Disney, Lego orientated games, DS games, NES games, SNES games, Sega Master System games, DVD games, and these are just purely DVDs, which is here. So this is just DVDs. And this stack here is v VHSs. So um, a lot, a lot of work. So what we're going to do now uh, with this and the other stack, I'm not going to go through that. That is just a mixture of DVDs and box sets sort of on there. Um, on side the other lot, um, what's that? instead of me pointing over there, because you can't actually see it, because I can see it, but you can't see it. So I'll turn the camera around now so you can see it before I talk about that. And um, so a lot of this stuff is sci-fi related aren't that and sort of things due to um in my youth i used to love watching star trek and star wars i collected all the star trek sort of things and um when i was in afghanistan and iraq i could find the box sets for 25 dollars for for season one through to seven um like like this here um ds9 season one through to seven sort of on here i paid 20 dollars for this um basically in the uk it's illegal to sell it because it's basically copied but over in their country, that's perfectly legal um, because that's how they sell their things. They get the stuff and they burn it onto DVDs, laser the discs, so they're on there. I got full receipts and that. And um, our armed forces, we're allowed to, we, we actually have these people selling these DVDs in our bases as shops you know, to make a living, yeah, sort of on there. So things like that, the Enterprise, they were from there as well. Um, Voyager season one, season two, that was from there. Battlestar Galactica, um, that was from there. Um, all these sort of ones here plastic cases they were from there see some more enterprise sort of things so basically they're going to be mine to keeping because i can't sell them in the uk um, but they're perfectly legal to buy when i was out there um, but copyright laws means we can't resell them back in our country um, sort of on there um, but there's a lot of box sets 24 sharp and sort of star trek this is all our sort of, and then behind this there's all of them the kids sort of dvds and that sort of some of them they probably don't watch anymore sort of on there so yeah so um so that's that so that's all my dvds so i'm not going to go through this now and um i'll come back very shortly after um we've sorted it all out into categories and um that sort of thing i'm probably going to do the dvds first due to the games i'm going to put down onto the floor for now because they're already in categories and sort of thing they're quite easy to sort out the more problems the dvds so i'm going to sort them out now and i'll come back in a few seconds Okay then, so I've just taken all those DVDs, um, which you saw that big mountain Spinico. I've taken them all out. I've sorted the game. I've taken. I've sorted out from the games which I'm keeping. Uh, I've sorted out the games which need to be sold, and I've actually already done that part of the um, listings. I've gone through all the games individually. Any game was over a fiver, I put on individually, and then um, all the rest of them I've bundled up into either PS1, PS2, PS3, um, the PSPs, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox 
original Nintendo Wii, Nintendo U. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Um, sort of on this, I bundled them all up and sort of put them all on, ranging from prices of 12 to 14, 15 DVDs from 14 to 19 pound. Um, some of the games which I found there were 20 odd quid. Um, I've sold them already, so you'll see them on. The, on the, you'll probably see them on the updates uh, sort of coming over. I'll probably make sure I talk about them. But now I've now got Magic Magpie open. I'm going to go through the DVDs and the box sets and work out which ones I want to keep and put into the box sets and anything else. I'm regardless of price. I've had them for so long, kicking around. I've tried to list them as job lots. I've tried to list them as different things. I've tried putting the categories. I've tried all different versions to try to get rid of them. So last case scenario is Music Magpie. I keep calling Magic Magpie. Music Magpie just to shift them off and clear them away. So um, my camcorder looks like its batch, um, SIM card is about to be full. So I'm going to stop this here, dump all the stuff onto the computer, and I'll start listening through this. And you'll see a pile of stuff I'm keeping on um, one side, and the stuff on the other side is stuff going to Magic Magpie. And I'll let you know how much I get for it. See you in a bit. Right, I've just logged into um, Music Magpie and I had a nice little surprise that I didn't realise that I've done an order. I don't know when I did this but I never um, gave them my bank details to actually transfer any money over. Um, so it looks like I've sent some stuff over, um, 10 items, looks like I sent 10 items over and I got and I've been, I'm waiting £23.89 so that is a nice little Brucey bonus. Um, can you see that there? Let's see if I can get that camera. There we go. So, um, 10 items. It's like got Road Trip, Fight Club. The best thing on there was Tomb Raider Anniversary box set for the Xbox, £10.33. So, I um, don't know when or how old oops, that actually is, but uh, I've just got £23.89 sent over to me by Music Magpie before I even start ordering anything else. So, happy with that. So now I'm going to carry on and start sorting some of this stuff out. Okay, so so far we've got all this scanned on. All the oh yeah, I'll try and see it. So far we've got all these DVDs and that scanned on. You can see just over here. And there's a few CDs which I'm now going through now. I found a box of CDs which I had ages ago, um, sort of on there. Um, current price we've got 68 items, which we've got 68 items just there. Our current listing price, of, of selling price back to us is £17.78. Bearing in mind I got all this, the majority of all this free of charge from a charity shop. We didn't have much space and they just want to get rid of it. And um, I, I go there regularly so they gave it to me. So um, this most of this is just pure profit. Some of this is old DVDs we've had in a house kicking around for God knows how many years and we don't watch them anymore. Um, so that's going through. I've still got... Um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, still got all those CDs to go through, um, sort of on there. So I'm probably going to see when it's finished, about 24, 25 pound. Um, this is I just need space. Um, I've still got all this, which didn't get accepted. It's down there. Um, down. I'll just try and angle this so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, down there, in this box. This is just Disney. So this is just Disney DVDs sort of on there. Um, that bag there is just v Disney VHSs. Uh, and then over on the floor, which is just there, is a load of charm albums which don't have barcodes on the back of them, so they're going to have to go on eBay as well. Um, so let's just come back onto the screen there. So that's a little update. So I'll finish doing this and I'll come back very shortly. Okay, so I've just done all those in that bag just now. There was a lot of singles inside there, or part of box sets with no barcodes on, so I thought there was a lot more money as it was worth. There's only about eight I found out of that. Um, so, in total, I've got 85 CDs, Blu-rays, DVDs, CDs, yeah, all going out to um, Magic, uh, Music Magpie, and I'm receiving £19.30. Where all the CDs I spent five pound on three ginormous boxes ages ago, and I've made probably nearly 60, 70 quid, maybe maybe even more. On no, I say I sold two bundles for 20 quid. I sold a big job lot for, for another 20 quid. Individual sales. Yeah, I'm probably nearly 100 pound in a five pound investment on the CDs alone. So. 
they'd say the DVDs, um, I got a job lot for free. Um, so there's just a few sort of random ones in there. Um, and that, that's basically it. So I'm going to sort the rest out on eBay and work how much they're worth. I've probably got another sort of £20 probably selling on eBay, sort of on there. So all those DVDs, probably like £40 out of that, £40, £50. Then the, seat, the computer games are already in, um, in the hundreds, um, which will also sell anyway. So, so all those DVDs you, and CDs you saw, 500 odd on this table, that on that table. I'm looking on a return of... Um, um, let me think. Around about 200, 250 pounds, that's all done. So, thanks again, and I'll check my next video out um, for my next getting ready for, for um, quarter four. So, check it later. Bye for now.